So Richard, uh, you and I have been discussing sustainability uh, recently and how we as a monogastric team can support our customers uh, as Trial Nutrition with their uh, efforts to reduce their environmental impact. I wonder if you can tell us a bit more about that. Yes, of course, Pippa. So uh, there's, there's various things that we can do. Um, we can look at the, uh, the raw material profile of the feed. So if we're talking about young animals, we can take a human analogy here, whereas babies would start on milk and then move on to solid feeds. That's very much the case with, uh, with piglets as well. And also that those feeds need to be more digestible for the, for the younger animals than the older animals. So it's a different type of raw material that we can use in there. So cooked cereals versus raw cereals, different types of proteins, for example, and really looking at the digestibility of those. Excellent. Um, so that sounds a little bit like phase feeding. Would that be correct? It would, yes. So uh, we can... Um, Basically, with phase feeding, then we would feed um, a higher specification diet in terms of nutrients, so higher energy, higher protein content to younger animals and, and birds, and then feeding lower levels of those nutrients to, uh, to older animals. So by doing that, we can maybe feed three different feeds. So the first feed will be very high specification, the last feed will be low specification, and by doing that, we can avoid the, uh, the use of uh, too high levels of nutrients for older animals, which unnecessary so they get excreted out into the environment in increasing the carbon footprint. Got it, got it. Is that uh, in any way related to split feeding that I've heard about in poultry? Yes, it, in some ways it is because with split feeding we would look at feeding the, uh, the, the nutrients that are required for the egg production cycle so the eggs formed over the course of the day so they need certain nutrients in the morning and different nutrients in, in the evening so by doing that we can have the effect of reducing the carbon footprint by around 10%. Excellent. That's fantastic. Uh, thank you very much, Richard. Okay, thank thanks. You.